you want out there castrating the rapists, the men you cling to when the wolves are at the door, they're never the white knight modern male feminists who travel in packs like the wolves. Those men are cowards. They don't respect women. They're just looking for an in. And I saw this at the change my mind with the guys walking in going, oh, I think that this made my friend cry. You're just trying to get laid, man. Hi, I'm Bobby. I'm a robot cat. Roughly one week ago I posted a short video highlighting the announcement of the divorce of Steven Crowder. This was criticized as quite a hypocritical move, as he has spoken out against the practice, preaching to his audience the importance of masculinity, and male, female roles. Well, days later a journalist named Yosher Ali, released a damning video of, Stephen berating his then pregnant wife, the footage, which we are about to view is allegedly part of their divorce proceedings, which are allegedly already in the tens of millions of dollars, thus cancelling news traveled swiftly, even prompting Candace Owens to speak out. There are some people out there who believe that to be a conservative, what it means is that we become tribal and we defend other conservatives even when they do things that are wrong, that we don't discuss things that are horrible on our own side because we need to just make sure that we score wins in other ways, and that is wrong. So that to me is the exact opposite of why I have this platform. She goes on to share that she has been having a go back and forth with Stephen for some days. On the two of them are in major disagreements. She also expresses her feelings on the right-winged speaker, calling him a monster for his behavior. Now, I shall issue a trigger warning for the video you are about to watch. And then I will get to my thoughts. You have boundaries. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary of abuse and control. You were not taking the car. Because... If you refuse to do wifely things, then I will go pick up the groceries. There are no groceries. I have to Steaks. Wood pellets. My grill. I know it's not a reasonable request, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect the man? Yeah. How do you manage? I will manage. You see the love of No, no. How do you manage? No, you're not taking the you are not taking the car. Steven? You're not then taking the car. Then I will ask them to pick you up. Would you like me to ask? Oh, that's right. It's not a threat, Steven. Give it an Uber. Okay, Steven, I can't. You want to walk out right now? Listen to me. I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go. I can't be home. You're going to take the car and leave me here. Hillary, just think of how boxed in you've made me. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. That doesn't work either. Understandable that the internet is proper pissed over this clip, the left are engaged in a gleeful stream of I told you so, and the right are quickly turning their support away from Crowder. Likely for self-preservation, masculinity is not a problem. Being a man is not a problem. Being a right jackass, is quite an issue, this, my dear viewers, is some of the most textbook gaslighting, bullocks I've seen in some time, and, that is quite impressive considering the communities I cover, amidst the repercussions of the viral video, Candace Owens and Stephen engaged in a back and forth. Accusations of extortion among the banter, and, podcasters have wasted no time sharing their thoughts. And, I was quite shocked to see the amount of support and grace he is receiving amongst a, mostly male group of YouTuber. She... Do you think it's set up? Yeah. Yeah, the um the video is a setup because he was filing for divorce a month before uh before she, um she was. And so the cuts are cutting everything she said. So it's not like I thought it might have been like a time thing, like every like 30 seconds maybe some of the recording is cut to save on like data. This video is over like two years, almost, yeah, two years old. Uh -huh. It is. It's an out of context clip. And for anybody who is on the anti Stephen train and maybe seeing this and saying, oh, Dennis is defending Stephen Crowder. Oh my God, I can't believe it. He's starting his alt right grift. No, listen to me. I dislike Stephen as much as the next person. I think I've made my opinions obvious over the last two years, just how little liking I have for Stephen Crowder. However, I have to call it the way that I see it. It's not because I dislike somebody that I'm just going to double down and ignore the entire situation. This is what's out there, and uh, it is what it is. He covered um, Stephen Crowder's divorce. As you guys know, he made an announcement saying that his wife 
uh, was divorcing him. Leaving. He didn't want to um, have the divorce happen. Um, and then literally hours later, you know, Candace Owens drops a video. And this is the video right here. We'll pull it up on screen for you. And he mentioned quick. as well that people knew about his divorce beforehand. I'm using it against him. Yes. So keep that in mind. Yes. On the base uh, level, watching it, it looks, really, it looks bad. really bad. Really bad. But if you are aware of female nature, you watch content like this, you know how women really move. You know that there is a lot of fucking cap in this shit right now. And there's moving parts that we can't see. Exactly. So honestly, guys, like, if you can, share the video, like it. But we need exposure for this because we can save some lives. Yeah, real talk, man. Again, this is going to be a masterclass in teaching you guys how to detect female deception, which this is 100% and going down here. the fact that she's pregnant makes it 10 times worse. Absolutely. You animal. How Absolutely. dare you? Let me go. You know, I'm really glad you brought... Well then, perhaps he has far more support than I originally assumed. As if he was not already in enough of a kerfuffle, he released this statement which many have labeled as threatening and aggressive. I commented on my ongoing divorce on Tuesday, requesting privacy in the best interest of the family, but also by court order agreed upon by all parties. Look, broken marriages are ugly, and in them people do ugly things. Myself, of course included, I would never claim otherwise. However, However. due to recent misleadingly edited leaks to the tabloid press without context and not subject to consequences of the court, well, if not privacy, the next best option is truth. So today, I have filed a motion to officially unseal all files as they relate to the matter of legal record finances, relevant medical records, including mental health history or evaluations, depositions, and any motions or sanctions from the courts of Texas. I will not be leaking private marital information to the press, but if the privacy agreements are not respected by all parties, I will address all that is a matter of irrefutable legal record in well, full shit. context. I just next cannot week. understand how anyone could miss the entire aura of this man. He speaks to literally everyone as if they are beneath him. If you don't believe me, go have a butcher at his change my mind videos. Old chap gets his jolly soft by bringing opposing, inexperienced debaters to complete meltdowns. All for your viewing pleasure. Never mind, what are your thoughts? While I do, have clear opinions, I am simply a cat. I look forward to your contributions to the matter, cheers.